What's going on my little piglets? It's your BFF Pork Shop here and I'm coming at you with another installment. Installment number 20 of the June Vlog Challenge 2023 which makes it... Top of your head? June 20th. June 20th, I oh. Just don't hit people. I'm trying not to hit people. They just started coming out of nowhere. That's funny because they walked the doors and I was thinking like there's somebody... There's there still people. There's still there. people in that restaurant. What the hell? But regardless, yeah, I'm trying not to hit anybody. I'm trying not to get like visual evidence of me hitting somebody. That would be fantastic. That would be hilarious. No, I've got a jail. I've got some, I got visual evidence. You set all that person in the corner. Boop, you hit him. Yeah. But um, yeah, today it's Tuesday. So uh, it was like the most Monday Tuesday I've had in a hot minute. For some mm -hmm. reason, I was just like, I don't know. I've been tired all day and I've been kind of cranky all day. And I don't know why. It's just. It's probably the heat. It's been a it's, thing. I mean, it's been over 100 for a considerable amount of the day. Yeah, that's only it's supposed to get hotter this week, so. Like, right now, I mean, it's 9 o'clock at night, and it's 91 degrees. Yeah, and I'm one of those guys, like, once it gets to 97, 98, 99, and above, I start, I start getting angry. <laughs> start getting, like I was telling them at the, uh, <clears throat> at the restaurant, I was like, uh, every four letter word in my vocabulary just spews out of me. Because it's just like, oh God, I hate this fucking weather. But uh, I, I digress. I mean, I kind of miss the rain at this point, but. <laughs> yeah, just maybe not enough to flood the entire city. Yeah, no kidding. Don't do that. Um, so we just went to work. I did another Uber Eats delivery, and this time it was more bountiful than yesterday's uh 10 bucks i had to go across town but uh it was worth it um sushi express to manhattan oh well, that's not bad that's not too bad i got off on nelson and everything and it was like five minutes from the house so i'm just like whatever i'll just go home because i was waiting for a second one and then you texted me you're just like yeah just come home I'm like yeah i'm just gonna i'm just gonna go home that sounds great because uh i got I home and i was supposed to work on stuff and my my energy to work on stuff was zero i don't blame you so i got home and she already had monopoly ready and waiting to go um she uh found out that we can play against the ai which the ai whew, it makes the game way more fun it does but it makes it it's cheeky because AI can make deals and exchanges and trades with the AI. Yeah, well, I mean, it's just like having another player. Yeah. But they did a really good job with the AIs. Like, the one of the AIs kicked our butts. Now, we were the last one standing. Yeah. But she was. it still ended up bankrupting us. Yeah, so, but it was just like, it's a, it's a, it's a goddamn conspiracy because they're like, hey... I have two oranges and you have one. I'll give you X amount of dollars for your third one and that way I can have a full set and have a monopoly. And they're like, all right, how much you wanna get me for it? It's like, well, the going price is 240, best I can do is 117. They're like, nah, how about we do, um, how about we do $2, 239 for 240 deal? It's like, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I would have done that, they would have told me to go fuck my mother. Like, it was like, eh. I did a trade with one of them that ended up going bankrupt before me, but I needed money in a bad kind of way, <laughs> and I I was down to like eleven dollars yeah, at one point. Yeah, pretty bad. Um, I also got down to like thirty-one dollars at one point. I was like, Jesus yeah. Christ! So anyway, I um I traded the AI. I had one of their properties that they needed to complete a set. And they had like eight hundred and forty dollars or something like that, and I traded it for seven hundred dollars, and he took it. He did. <laughs> I was like, how, I was like, how desperate is this guy? He was like, sweet, I've got money again. Thanks, man. It didn't help very long. What happened was, the AI got um, the one that ended up winning had a monopoly of the orange spaces, which. If you know anything about Monopoly, they're not the super expensive places. They're like the middle class places. Um, you don't want to start putting houses and hotels but, on them. Yeah, she very quickly put houses and hotels on them. And then plus, we're playing with the house rule that if you land on free parking, you get the taxes, the taxes and the hospital fees and all of that. The community bank, basically. Um, and she landed on free parking twice. Yeah. And then the first person that she bankrupt 
did had one of the one of the properties that she needed to complete another monopoly so by the time it was all said and done i actually had two monopolies but she i had the the yellow properties oh i had three monopolies i had the yellow properties the green properties and the brown properties which the brown properties are just you know easy cash they don't even with the hotel they only rented for like 250. yeah but um she kept getting sent to jail and the jail is right before my yellow properties and a, oh, two corners before the green properties and so she wasn't landing on them and i had <laughs> hotels on my yellow properties and they would have rented for what 1250 i think something like that yeah it was a decent chunk of change but she kept getting sent to jail so then she wouldn't hit them yeah. And so then it ended up bankrupting me because I was still going around the board and landing on her stupid hotels. Yeah, saying that's how I went out. I landed on her thousand dollar hotel, very last space right before the free parking, and I'm like, I'm done. Like, even if I sold everything and you know mortgaged everything, I still wouldn't have. I'm, I'm done. Yeah. Here you go. Here's all my shit. Oh no, you bank, you bankrupted me because no. you've got all my stuff. Oh yes, I did bankrupt you. That he landed on one of my hotels. Yeah, but I was like, I was like, yeah, I can't afford the thousand dollars. So, so she got the blue, which is Boardwalk, and uh, the other one, Park I can't, Central. Park Central. So she ended up having a really nice little nest egg. In the, but the stupid AI the never got that far. Yeah. She kept landing on the freaking jail. It was like this shit is rigged because she kept going to jail and like she like just sat in jail and would like. She had like almost three thousand dollars to her name, and yeah, you know, her and I only had a couple hundred. We're like this bitch. <laughs> the hard thing with playing on the PlayStation is you can't you can't adopt multiple house rules. Like you can only pick one house rule. So I know the way that we played with our family was if you landed on the free parking, then you got the community bank, but you also couldn't trade or collect money when you were in jail. And then um, there was another house rule that we always had, and I can't remember what it was. Yeah. I think I think we did have the house rule for landing on the landing on go. You would get a thousand dollars, I think. Um. But I can't remember. You can't. But with this one, you can only select a certain. It didn't work. Turn yours on. You can only select a certain house rule. That didn't do shit. <laughs> so. Like you can only have the landing on free parking or you can only have the jail thing or you can only have, you know, the, you can build properties without having a monopoly thing. You can't do was, multiples. I don't know if you mentioned it, but the uh, first person to $3,000 wins. Yeah, we had that rule one. too. The millennial, their yard is so pretty. Yeah. Sorry, our neighbors are outside gardening with their dog and he's really cute. And their cat, Rusty, is sitting by the garage. Rusty. And our new neighbor is a landscaper, and their yard is so pretty. I think we mentioned him. I think we did. One of them. I'm going to need you to do me a favor, though. What? I need you to look up the reel for today, because I already oh, okay. forgot the person's name. We are going to we are gonna have to speed this up, because i got to pee. Yeah, so I was going to do that real quick after we quit talking about Monopoly for sorry. nine minutes. We talked about it for nine minutes. I'm sorry. We... Keyword, we. Let's be real. We all know that I was the one that talked the most. I think it's under videos. It's under more? More? Okay. So today was uh, your favorite cinematographer. Yeah. And I forgot his name, but. Steven Goldblatt? Steven Goldblatt. That is correct. Steven Goldblatt from Batman Forever. And a lot of people like to call it a uh, puke field you know neon you know uh fever dream but I, th I thought the movie looked fantastic from start to finish and you know it was different from the michael keaton movies where it was all brooding and dark and you know everything and then schumacher got golden blood to just be like hey make this like actually like a comic book that was the goal was to make the movie look like a comic book instead of a you know a, like a horror movie but um yeah, so that was the question was favorite cinematographer, so Stephen Goldblatt for sure. Uh, today was a uh, TikTok with a Blue's Clues uh, themed one. That was pretty funny that I thoroughly enjoyed. The funny thing is, is if it does good on TikTok, it won't do shit on YouTube and vice versa. 
because on TikTok I'm sitting at like 1100 views and on YouTube I'm sitting at like 19. So I'm <laughs> just like, and it, 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 it flip flops. Like, you know, one will do good on TikTok, but not on YouTube. And that's just like, what the hell? Um, but yeah, that's all I really want to talk about today. Like uh, she said, we're going to keep this short. Nothing else to really, you know, report. Nothing else to talk about. I do. Um, I am doing a food review tomorrow for the, uh, the poll from, uh, uh, Friday through Mon uh, Friday through Sunday. So I'm going to Arby's to get the Wagyu burger. Um, so that's what I'm going to do tomorrow is the review for that and record it and upload it for y'all on Thursday. And then on Friday is a local food review again. Um, so look for that when that is uh, live at midnight uh, on Friday. So anyway, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Unless you have anything else you want to add. Nope. No, so you just have to pee. All right, there we go. So guys, thank y'all so much once again for dropping by. Greatly appreciate y'all. Didn't upload this at 1230 at night again. Nope. 930 at night. Yep. And uh, Colin Porkchop loves y'all the most. So y'all take it easy, guys, and we will see y'all tomorrow. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Even though you can barely fucking see us. <laughs> <laughs>